Okay, here we are recording again. I went through my house and I must have a dozen kits of these stupid things and you think I could find one with a Phillips head that fits, but I don't. So rather than run out to Radio Shack, I've got to recommend the Swiss Army screwdriver. Works great. Are we still in focus here? I'm going to just wiggle this around here so you guys can see what I am doing. <coughs> Alright, so let's dismantle some more. And by the way, this fits absolutely perfectly. Uh, those Swiss, man. I wish they were building this rather than the guys in China that HP hired. Alright, so there's another cover and yet another cover. Oh, and our Looks like our memory cards are here. Now, let's see. And not sure what this is, but we'll figure it out sooner or later. Let me continue undoing every single little screw. Well, this is magnetized, I think. I'm gonna give it one more zap. I've got this great tool here. It's ancient, it's German, I'm not sure what, how they do it, but it has a magnetized side and a demagnetized side, which works amazingly well. I'm not sure really how, but now we're very magnetized. Making a mess of things here. Okay, this way, see I am 50 years old now. And my eyes aren't as great as they used to be, and my fingers sure aren't. Uh, and I wish a younger, wiser man was doing this to me, but unfortunately, this is all we got. So, many, many screws, tiny, tiny little screws. I think half of the reason they do this is to keep people like me from messing with them. Oh, I gotta mention also the battery on this thing <laughs> uh, is junk after a very short period of time. Um, I got a year um, out of it, give or take, before it was started to crap out. Um, I called HP about that and again, we're out of warranty. <laughs> so, it's a shame that the battery would wear out so quickly on such a machine. It doesn't get a ton of use, as far as I'm concerned. I've had other, well, that's a long one, had other machines and have lasted much, much longer than this guy without any problems at all. And I've had other HPs that have been just fantastic over the years, no problems whatsoever. In fact, I still have a pocket PC that is old as the hills. And remember, those are the very long ones. Um, Old as the hills, still working on its original battery. No problems. I suppose this is what happens when you want to maximize your profits. And that's what we're into these days, evidently. We're going to make a lot of money. And then we're going to throw them all away. Such a shame. getting close. We have our little CMOS battery here. Let's see if I can unplug that just a week. I don't have to even call them CMOS batteries anymore. There we go. We're unplugged. So that's out. Yeah, I don't know if there's any real advantage to taking this memory out, but let's give it a shot and see if we can even do it. I put my chisel. <laughs> All right, maybe this is not meant to slide out. Oh, yes it is. Got a little aligning thing. Very good. And chances are these guys have probably hidden a screw 
underneath the memory. That's the only reason I'm taking it out. We'll know shortly. Ha! Gotcha! Will I be able to put it back in? That remains to be seen. Let's see. There may be a screw under there. I'm feeling a bump, but let's see how far we can get before we do that. So, on this we have two clips. I'm uncertain. Oh, there we go. They just pop right up. Number one went towards it's green and it goes towards the opening of this. And number two is the one that goes in the back. We have two screws holding what this is, whatever. This is like a video card or something. We'll get those two screws out of there. There's one. I'm being very good about putting them in the bowl. And it does. There's barely. I think they can make these with a little more room. Alright, so what's hiding under here yet? Huh. I'm looking for any uh -huh. oh, there's a screw right there that I would have missed. Sneaky. Right, that one. Oh, but it's kind of stuck, I believe, in the plastic. I'll just turn this around. Come on, there you go. Come to Papa. Don't try this at home, kids. Unless you want your parents to buy you a new laptop. So. For the moment, they all appear to be out. But you know, sometimes they'll hide screws under these little rubber feet. So I'm going to take a peek and see if there's no screw there. I'm going to guess the edges don't have screws. But how about the middle? Sneaky engineers. Nope, looks good. And I'll just check this one. Yeah, it's just held down with a little bit of sticky cement. Stay. Okay, now. In theory, I'll flip this guy over, open it up. This keyboard is supposed to come out of here, I believe. I may have to stop and consult the... Uh, let's see, will it? Well, not easily. Let's see, what is holding this together? Flip that bit. I have this snaps on. Probably snaps on, but I don't want to force anything too badly. There's probably some, it looks like there's something in this area. Hmm. It's holding us down still. I wonder how evil these guys were when they assembled this may have to consult the YouTube video, of course. Thank God for YouTube. The big problem, and the reason I'm doing this, is there is a clump of something preventing um, the fan from spinning as it should. That can be a big problem, um, because when the fan doesn't spin up, it doesn't cool this thing, and when it doesn't cool this thing, then um, uh, it will shut itself down or fry itself. Neither of which are very pleasant, in my opinion. Alright. Something is holding you. What is it? Right. I don't want to peel back anything if I don't have to. 
tell you what, I'm going to pause this video, I'm going to jump on YouTube and see what my online buddies have figured out. Because there has to be some hidden screw here somewhere. I will come back and let you know in a minute. Alright, let's pause this.